Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another top 5. Let me know what top 5 you want me to do in the comments down below. Today we're doing the best AFL players in 2017. That the AFL, this is the AFL that's speaking. This is who they think are the best players. Quick cre credit to Stunnader. He has done a few best players in the AFL types of list. So definitely go and check out his channel. I'll link it down in the description below. We'll get off the bat with our honourable mention that goes to Dane Zorko. Dane Zorko debuted in the 2012 season. He's currently the number 15 for the Brisbane Lions as you will all know and yeah he was picked as a zone selection uh, in 2011 from the Gold Coast and yeah he's played a massive role this year and he uh, is the Brisbane Lions kick, uh, leading goal kicker I believe for the last two years. So yeah he has definitely made massive impact this year and that is why the AFL ranks him as the sixth best player in the AFL. Going into the fifth, we have Josh Kennedy, Josh P. Kennedy from the Sydney, I almost said Sydney Crows, Sydney Swans. Josh Kennedy is a massive star. He did play 13 games for Hawthorne, if you guys didn't know, and was the 40th pick in the 2006 draft, but he is currently the Sydney Swans captain. He has won a premiership, and yeah, he's a three-time member of the Australian team and has won the Bob Skilton medal three times as well. Moving on to number four, and that is Rory Sloan, another pick. 44th pick in the 2008 National Draft. He has played 151 games for the Adelaide Crows and he has had some amazing achievements. He has made the All-Australian team, he has made the 22 under 22 team, he won the showdown medal this year and he's a two-time Malcolm Blight medal medalist. Uh, if you are a Crows fan you definitely know what type of impact he has made on your club. Moving forward to number three and that is a surprising one, this is how the AFL ranks it, Scott Pendlebury. He has won a lot of awards in his career and has been part of the Australian team five times. He's won the Norm Smith medal and he's a premiership player and also he is the current captain of the Collingwood Football Club and has been since 2014. Obviously he was drafted fifth overall in the 2005 National Draft and he is uh, 29 years of age so probably the oldest player on this list I am pretty sure. Moving on to number two, you probably know who this is, it is Dustin Martin. 26 years of age, he was taken at number three in the 2009 National Draft. He is now a two time member of the All Australian team, he's won the Jack Dyer medal uh, and he's also been in the 22 under 22 team, uh, he's won a PA player of the month. He's played 175 games for Richmond and he's a massive figure in the AFL today and is strongly tipped to win the uh, the Brownlow medal which would be absolutely insane this year. Moving on, here are some more superstars who didn't quite make the list, including Alex Rance, Lance Franklin, Luke Parker, Robbie Gray, Zach Merritt, Tom Mitchell, Josh Kelly, Sam Doherty, Rory Laird, Josh J. Kennedy, Paddy Ryder, Matthew Cruiser, Matty Crouch, and Michael Hibbard. A lot of those names made the uh, All Australian team, but obviously, I don't think they were good enough to make it onto this list, so to speak. There are also a lot of other superstars, but these were the main ones I thought deserved a bit of a mention for their fantastic seasons this year. Robbie Gray, probably not. I just put him on there because the AFL loves him, uh, and he ended up making the All Australian team. So yeah, those are the players on their bit of an honourable mention. Even though we already had an honourable mention, you all know who's number one. It's Paddy Dangerfield. He won the Brownlow. He had a stellar year in 2016 and also a stellar year in 2017. He's been in the All-Australian team five times. He also made the 22 under 22 team. He's won the Showdown medal before uh, and the Lee Matthews trophy. He's number 35 for the Cats and he played over 150 games for the Adelaide Crows between 2008 and 2015 before moving to Geelong and making his career absolutely insane. So yeah, 
guys, danger with number one. The rest of them, you guys probably... Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you agree with what the AFL says. Let me know your top five players in 2017 for the AFL. Let me know some players that weren't on this list that should have been. This is not my list. This is the AFLs. Anyway, guys, hopefully you'll have enjoyed this video. If you have, please make as well. And subscribe. Okay, until next time, peace. Goodbye, friends.